Hello friends, welcome back. My name is Priyandra Kumar. In this video, you will learn how we can rename multiple files on one click. So here in this sheet, I have taken this path folder path here on H1. Let me show you this folder first. In this folder, I have multiple files, few word files and few Excel files. So I have created this button to get the information of the files. It will give you the current file name available in the folder. So you can see here, this is the file name available in the folder. Now I can type here my new name for this file. So let's say I am just giving some file name here. So I have put here uh, in place of report, I'm using PK, then the same number. So in place of this report here, I want to use PK. If you have thousand of files, then it will take quite long time. So this is the easiest way to rename your files. Just get the information in the Excel sheet, put the new name in front of that old name and just click on rename files. Now it's done. You can see in the folder, now file name has been changed. So in this video, you will learn how we can do it quickly. So let me go to the visual basic or you can press Alt F11 also. This is the macro which I have created. In my last video, I have already shown how can you get the file information like file name, file size, file type. So here we are getting the file name. So let me explain you this macro once again. I have taken the seat name here as SH and assigned this SH to seat one. I have taken the file system object here. To get the file system object, you need to take the first reference in tools that is the Microsoft scripting runtime. And then I have taken here file uh, folder, FO as folder, then F as file. I have assigned this folder as FSO to get FSO dot get folder. And then the folder path I have given as SH, which is the seat one dot H1 dot value. So now here I have taken one more variable that is last row as integer. Then I have put here a loop that is for each files in fo dot files the last row has been assigned according to the column a now here on the last row which is the blank row the name of the file and once getting all the file name it will give you the message as done so this is the code to get the file name from a folder in excel worksheet now here i have written another macro to rename the files now let me explain you this macro also this is the same code if you will see here i have assigned the seat name i've taken the file system object folder and file variable then i have taken one more variable here that is new name and now i have assigned this folder with the h1 dot value which is the folder path now again i'm putting the same loop for each f which is the file in fo dot files now here I'm taking the new name of the file. So how I'm getting this new name? I'm using the VLOOKUP application.vlookup and lookup value I'm just giving the file name, whatever is the file name. Then table array I'm giving the ss.range a to b. So let me show you here, whatever the file name will be available, then table array will be used this. So you can see the file names are available. Then it will pick up the column number two, which is column b. So according, let's say if file name is report one dot doc app, then it will give the result of VLOOKUP as pk dash one dot doc x. All right, so it will give you the new file name. Now here it is renaming this file as file name dot name equal to new name. So that is how it is renaming the files. Then in the last, it is giving the masses. So that is how we can rename the files available in the folder quickly. Just practice this, it is quite easy. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching.